are finally here in somewhat warmer environment. And honestly, I have been really looking forward to doing this. I must add, I had some head start. You can probably tell that there is quite a lot of um, sanding that happened. What I did is, since this is an aluminium piece, it usually comes with these lines, which are really sharp. And those lines are from the molds, where the two molds meet when the part is made. This is where it leaves um, a lip or a sharp edge, whatever you like to call it. And it goes all the way around, around the perimeter of the piece. Since I have it out already, I'm going to go ahead and sand it down and probably spray paint it because I really hate how it looks like after a couple of months on the car. I'm going to try to make it as flat as possible. I did all of this with an angle grinder, which I cannot um, do in here because of the noise and the dust. but. All the rest of the pieces are going to be sanded with uh, probably 400 grit sandpaper and all of the surfaces that are mating points with other pieces are going to be sanded with a really fine sandpaper. I think this is thousands, thousand or maybe one in, um, 1500 grit. I also have a couple of steel brass and nylon brushes some steel brush that is rounded and probably a couple other things and bits and pieces probably a dremel tool as well because i want to get rid of these two as well and some other sharp edges since i would love to listen to some music while doing all this i'm going to uh, record time lapse mode so you can enjoy it in a couple times the speed
Well, this was fun. Uh, at least for the first 20 seconds, then it became a pain. But at least it was fun for you because it lasted uh, probably a couple of seconds, depending on depending on what depending on what I uh, what I what I made it look like. Anyways, um, we are done with. sanding down and everything so the only thing left is to get a proper wipe and this is an aluminium cleaning solution whatever that means it's supposed to be safe for aluminium I'm really happy how it turned out however I'm really not happy how much effort it took yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay. I'm not sure just how good this thing is. Let me check. Aluminium cleaner. Am I wet? Yes, I'm wet. Okay, the same side. Second time. Um, idiot. Hmm. I just want to take make sure there is no dust or anything else before we spray it down. There is still quite a lot of there's still quite a lot of places that still have corrosion and stuff on it. And if I if I ever do this again, best believe I am sandblasting the beep as this took way too much effort and the results are, I mean, okay, but for my standards a bit mediocre. I wanted everything to be spotless before we spray it down with a spray paint. I guess that is not happening. What I'm really hap happy about is this surface. Is this surface because it looks spotless now. It was really corroded. It was really bad. Now it looks much better. Okay, make sure everything is nice and dry. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. I mean, once it sprays down, it's going to look amazing. But for what we have done, I am very happy. Okay, yeah, yeah, satisfied. So. Leave this thing on the side. Another trick I learned. Get those things that you usually put in your ears. To, to do what? I don't know. I just want to know. Yeah, there are a couple of holes. But in case you need to block off some holes for the screws, you can use this. I think in the meantime, we will be just fine with a normal painter's tape. There, is, there are a couple of methods on how to properly get this thing off. Okay, all right, like so. Cover everything that's not that is not supposed to be um, painted. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And then trace out the edges, usually with a rubber hammer, something, because then it is almost. Cut. I need to 
of course improvise so I'm going to try a couple of different methods like just driving the edge of a screwdriver possibly even trying to trace it out with a Stanley knife I don't know maybe no not going to work so yeah back to just rub rub the tape until it goes through as you can see it works really well make sure you rub around the corners as well of course you can use anything that is strong enough to not get damaged in the process all right so if we did that properly we should be able to okay Yes, seems like, okay, we did something really good, okay, nice, this is the first one, I am going to block off all of the holes that, needs, that need to be blocked off, let's see how many we can manage. Don't be a cheap ass like I am. Okay. Same deal on every one of them. Just rub. Rub the things around the side until they bring. Okay, I'm going to go back to time-lapse mode, so see you once everything's done. This is some professional work right here. This is turning into a complete restoration of our Audi TT. But yeah, I marked, uh, masked out every single surface that meets the screws or other components. Unfortunately, I cannot spray paint over here so I'm going to go somewhere else spray paint and then uh, as soon as the piece is dry enough I am going to bring it back so you can see what I did I'm really happy with how it turned out I'm really happy with the trick where you just slide a side of a, any metal object but in this case a small screwdriver just slide it a couple of times on the on the edge of the surface and it's going to cut through the masking tape so you have a really nice edges professionally masked out so once we paint everything it should look really nice so yeah back as soon as the thing is dry Ta -da! so here we are almost finished product i need to remove the masking tapes of course but I want to do that tomorrow, so just just in case the paint needs a little bit more time to dry because it is relatively cold in here where I'm working at the moment. But 
I'm carefully going to show you around. Hopefully there aren't any pieces of uh, yeah, paint where it's not dry, at least to the touch. Woo! I don't want to leave any fingerprints or anything. But look at this. Amazing. It's going to look even better once I remove all of the masking tapes. But yeah, I'm going to film that tomorrow and then we will check out the final results but for now I am more than happy here we are next day now I am more than certain that the paint is dry and as you can probably tell I am really excited and really happy on how this turned out the only thing that's left is to remove uh, to remove the masking tape, which I am gladly going to do right now and uncover our our work. This thing sticks really good. Okay. Very important thing is that this surface stayed nice and dry and clean also on the other side as well that has to be like that because this is where the wheel bearing sits now the three screws for the wheel bearing okay not perfectly masked out but better this way than to have the paint on the surface the mating surface of the screws all right now it looks it starts to look a bit more serious let's see if we can do that like this yes yes sir like so oh no, 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 we don't want this to happen. We want the hole, yes, like that, to go out. Ah, oh, this looks professional. This looks really good. I am super happy with the results. And I mean, if you just take your time, there really isn't much knowledge to this. It's just patience with the sanding. A couple of tools, not some expensive tools, that is. And yeah, look at this. Right. There is one thing left, and that is I want to use the compressed air to blow this um holes for the screws out because there might be debris or dust or anything left in there and i don't want that to stay in there but uh, yeah other than that we are pretty much done with this part professional Better than brand new. Right. Oh, this one broke. Okay. Extra careful with this one. I'm more probably going to forget a couple of. Oh, there it is. Uh, this one and then on the other side same thing have I gotten out of the frame for a second there sorry about that the other side as well as well let's just 
easily so it doesn't break again. It did break. Oh. The only thing is it is really cold in here, which in return means all aluminium parts are really cold as well. Even colder than the surroundings because Workplace clean. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, there must be at least a couple that are for up. Yeah, more than a couple. Good. Okay, let's lift it out. Okay, like that. Easy. Nice and easy does it. Yeah, I think there's couple left this one this is for uh -huh. those are the brake caliper carrier screws right there we have it I think I removed all of them I think I removed all of them if not yeah I'll be able to tell so this is our final piece I'm really happy how it turned out and really really happy and I hope the paint is going to protect it and it's going to stay like this for a long time because I really hate how it looks like when it's all um, you know corroded a couple of pictures and we are done <laughs>